Hi Pisces, welcome back. This is going to be your next uh, 48 for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. All right, for Pisces, next 48. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What's the messages for Pisces? Next 48. What can Pisces expect next 48? Okay. Pisces. We're gonna take that then, all right? The two that flipped over. So, overall, it's a strength, Leo energy. So, uh, all right, Pisces. So, this, we're pulling from the date double major deck first, and we're gonna clarify with the regular channel. Okay, so I feel like with this energy, you're leaving something behind. You're completely leaving everything behind the next 48, or you're considering it, okay? I feel like you're really having to pull on your strength here to walk away from the situation, to leave something behind that's not helping you or serving you or uh, making you happy, or you don't seem to be getting what you want. I feel like something is completely over here, all right? You're walking away. Something I just feel like cups is over. I just feel like there's no you don't want to use the elements to put to, to keep this going here, okay? I feel like you feel de completely de depleted. There could also be some kind of uh energy attack to your sacral chakra, some kind of serpent energy. There's something that's a snake, something's about a snake here. I just get, I feel like you're completely depleted in the situation. There's nothing more that you can give to it. With the page of swords in the reverse, okay, so this could be gossip and lies and bullshit and hate and jealousy and somebody heavily stalking you. And then we have the lover's card in the reverse. Yeah, this is a breakup to a connection. This is something that is over. There's a true disconnect in the situation here, Pisces, okay? I'm getting you're just going to leave this behind. There's a there's an energy of you knowing you have to walk away. There could be some resistance. It's, it's, it could be hard with the strength card, but it's something that you know you need to do. You know you need to completely dead this, move forward, stop watching this person, looking at them or whatever, okay? Or this is how someone feels about you. It could be a Gemini or a Leo. Let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, next 48 for Pisces, next 48. What's going on in the next 48 for Pisces? What is this world card? So there's an ending, a needing, a needing to walk away from the situation, to let something go. Just period. Yeah, the high priestess, that's you, Pisces. Your intuition is telling you to leave something completely behind. Nothing more can come of this with the world and the death following it. Nothing else can come of this. Yeah. Okay. There's no need to fear. What's the world and the high priestess here? Okay. You have the ace of wands to go towards something new or do something new or completely neglect something. You have the ace of cups and the, and the lover's card. This could be new love. This could be somebody you feel very much because you have the lovers here in the reverse. But here it is in the upright. So this could be a complete disconnect and loss in love in the situation that you're currently in. And you may be moving forward towards something else. Okay. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. There's some kind, yeah, there's something new here. Yeah. And we have the Devil, Capricorn. It could be a Capricorn. Yeah, now we have the Ace of Wands. You already have three Aces showing up. Something is moving ahead faster. There's communication between you and someone else here. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Okay. All right, so new love here for you, Pisces. Somebody new, possibly? Yeah, for sure. There's definitely someone new. You're leaving it all behind. This is a sense of just dropping it and letting it go. All right, your intuition is telling you to do so, to let something go. Yeah, there's a real, there's somebody, there's a real chemistry of sexually, sexual attraction or obsession here with you or you with someone else. What's the devil in the Eight of Wands? 444, what's the devil in the Eight of Wands? Okay, I hate when this shit happens because it's just... Too many fucking cards. All right. Yeah. What is the devil in the eight of wands? 
the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is something about a DM or a text message, reaching out, a reconnection, a call, a message. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with the Seven of Swords and the Hangman. So I feel like... um. Yeah, there's going to be, okay, the page of wands here in the reverse. There's going to be some bad news here regarding a situation. Something is very toxic, okay? Something, yeah, what the, the, with this devil card, I, I feel like, yeah, the three of pentacles. So there's going to be communication happening between you and someone else or emails or text messages. This could be regarding a job here as well. But I feel a real sense of just wanting to walk away from a situation here, end something, let something go, move forward with your life here. All right, go on to new love. Something is just not fulfilling, okay? I feel like something, um, I also feel like something is new. Something takes off, but then it gets kind of crazy. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, then it ends abruptly. I definitely feel like somebody is dabbling in something here, some kind of spell work here. I felt that with the devil and the and the um the high priestess here. I feel like somebody is. I saw the magician as well. Somebody could be losing a job all of a sudden, or someone's reaching out or sending a lot of texts. They're being aggressive in their communication. This could be you and somebody else. Yeah, I just feel like if there was a lot of con uh, uh, communication here, I just feel like somebody's talking obsessively. They're talking fast or they're talking obsessively. As, as, obsessively or they're i don't know i just feel like somebody's a master manipulator you need to be careful of this person they're trying to fast talk you could be a gemini or a fucking aries okay but somebody's doing some spell work here something's going to break or end here abruptly there's going to be a disconnected communication here because something something about the infinity sign could be significant too yeah there's going to be a breakout here the five of wands an argument yeah what's the death in the five of wands I feel like there's conflict, there's chaos, there's jealousy, there's something, something, yeah, the king of pentacles, okay, yeah, the three of swords, the five of wands, the king of pentacles, the hermit, so you're going to, you're going to ghost a situation, there's going to be a breakup, or this is a third party situation, we have two threes here, all right, I feel like a new situation that you're going into suddenly, it, it, something may backfire here. You need to be careful about what you're doing or what you're choosing. There's going to be some conflict, chaos, arguing and fighting here about a third party, a breakup, a separation. Something's going to be discovered. Someone's going to find something out here. This King of Pentacles, this could be the person you're involved with or your husband. The King of Pentacles can be a husband. You have the Two of Cups, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. There it is. So there is a married couple here and there's a third party somewhere. I feel like a third party has been doing spell work here to end the connection in your life so that they so that they can get you or this is you. What's the um if you're doing that, you'll you you all kinds of weak ass low. Chariot in the reverse in the Knight of Wands, yeah. So the cancer energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, and Aries. All right. Could be a Leo or a Gemini as well, or a Scorpio. All right. So at the end of the day, I feel like something is not moving ahead. There's a real childish energy here. OK. I feel like there, that somebody's coming in or this is you saying that they want this commitment with you, this love with you. But somebody's coming like coming off like the king of pentacles. But they're really the knight of wands shared in the reverse. Somebody lacks courage. Somebody somebody is um, very impulsive. This is somebody that's very jealous. This is somebody that likes to create bullshit here too. What's the chariot in the reverse? You have the two of pentacles. Somebody that's very much in and out, off and on. I feel like somebody only comes to somebody when they when they feel like it, when they want to, but then they go back to wherever their marriage is or the person that they're with here. There's a juggling and a third party energy here. I feel like something is very very with that lovers with the lovers card here in the reverse. There's going to be a disconnect in the connection. That snake is wrapped around that tree near that female something here is not what it seems so you may think that something is is all great and well but it's not i feel like you're going to leave something behind because you're going to realize just how impulsive how um how 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 drama how dramafied somebody is how much bullshit i feel like somebody's obsessively texting you calling you like stop calling me are you gonna have to block this person because they just do the most they don't know how to settle down, sit down, or fall back, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, somebody's going to be left out in the cold, five of pentacles, okay? What's the page of swords? So there's going to be some, some, what's the page of swords reverse, five of pentacles? Page of swords reverse in the five of pentacles. 
yeah, the tower. Something's going to blow up here. Okay. There, yeah, the five of cups. There's going to be a loss. All right. I feel like um, that's too many. We'll see. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Something becomes too stressful. You're going to be just leave someone out of the cold or they're going to do this to you. There's going to be some bad news delivered. Like, yo, you know, somebody's going to feel very left out, very cold because somebody's finding something out here. What is this King of Pentacles finding? Yeah, this hermit is looking on the Three of Swords about a lie, a betrayal, about a third party, about competition. Yeah, something you just something's going to be left behind. You're just going to have to let it go because it's becoming too stressful. Something that you thought was going to be fun or, or you reconnected with somebody. It's, it's, it's actually it actually turned out to be pretty chaotic here. What's the Five of Cups, Seven of Swords? Something is just not what you were hoping. Yeah, there's that lovers in the reverse again and the emperor in the reverse. Yeah, I just feel like in the nine of pentacles in the reverse, somebody's very codependent here. This is the emperor in reverse is like a loser. Somebody that's a liar, a con, a cheat. You're realizing how possessive, controlling somebody is. Okay, I just feel like there's going to be a real loss in love here, a disconnect. I mean, the lovers is here twice in the fucking reverse. I feel like the lovers also literally means a wrong choice. So I feel like Pisces, you need to be careful about what you're doing here because I feel like a wrong choice is going to be made. Somebody's going, yeah, the King of Swords, this King of Swords, King of Pentacles energy, which I feel like is the same person, is going to find out about this emperor in reverse. So if they're sneaking around, third parties, lies, text messages, back and forth communication, I feel like when somebody finds out about the situation, somebody else's ass is going to get cut off abruptly. It's just going to end. Someone's going to be left heartbroken, sad, and at a loss, out in the cold, lack, and everything. You're going to realize somebody's a habitual liar or, or someone's going to... Yeah, there's cheating going on here. Third parties and shit. Yeah, the lovers and the reverse and the death. Yeah, and the two. Yeah, something has changed. Something has definitely changed. In the lover's card, I feel like somebody, somebody is letting, yeah, the six of pentacles in the reverse. Something is not a give and take or equal give and take. Something is not, yeah, the five of swords, knight of pentacles. There's a lot of hate and jealousy and competition. I feel like somebody is angry because you're not choosing them, Pisces, or you're, um, they want this relationship with you. So they have been doing spell work and all kinds of wicked shit to cause an ending in your life so that they can have you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. So I'm going to break you up with, with the person you're with. You could possibly even have children with. I'm going to break that up because I want you for me. But what's going to happen is with the tower card, it's going to backfire. And they're going to end this connection is going to end up being lost between you and this other person or whatever the fuck this is. What is the hermit three of swords, five of wands, king of pentacles? Yeah, the ten of pentacles. I feel like there's a family here. There's a marriage and I see two kids and dogs and shit. So there's a marriage here, a family. Somebody could be stepping outside of their family here or something. What's the king of pentacles, ten of pentacles? Yeah, the six of wands. And the four of pentacles. Somebody is holding on to their 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 husband or their wife, their family. They, this is where they see true success and happiness, stability. I feel like somebody's trying to intervene or somebody's trying to get you to see something their way or get you to fall in love with them. But the more that they're doing this shit, the more you're falling out of love with their ass. Yeah, the emperor in the reverse. Somebody has lost. Somebody thought that their lies, their games. Yeah, somebody was real jealous, Five of Swords. And they were kind of just watching and waiting for you to walk away from someone. Yeah, seven, yeah something is just confusing or something. Somebody is being breadcrumbed. They're real. They're giving everything to their family and somebody else is being breadcrumbed. Or this is you. I mean, makes sense. Somebody has a family and someone is playing the third party, the side person, the, the mistress, the fucking whatever. Okay, so you get what you get. What's the death in the Six of Pentacles in reverse with the lovers in reverse? Yeah, somebody very fucking codependent. Let's see. Yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse and Two of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's getting, somebody here is getting really, really angry because they feel breadcrumbs. So something has changed or something has to be let go of. Okay, yeah, the world card is over. A cycle is over. I feel like somebody's vindictive. They feel hateful. They feel like a disconnect from you. They feel like they need to get you back. I need to win or I need to, I need to um, affect something or I, or, or I lost. Somebody's really in their ego here. They feel like they have lost. Yeah, the four of pentacles, the world. Yeah, somebody can't seem to let you go. Yeah, the seven of wands and you're, you're blocking, you're pulling your energy away. You're, you're blocking this person and you're moving on. 
something is just it's just too much something has become real real hectic real fucking quick Something that you thought you possibly wanted, you're realizing you do not at all. You have the four of swords. There's going to be no more communication. It's over. It's dead and it's done. You're choosing to go in a different direction here. Okay. All right. You have the four of wands, higher font. There's a family here. And I saw the queen of pentacles. There's a marriage. OK, so so I feel like you're going to make the choice to work on your marriage or your, with your family because the grass is greener where you water it. OK, you all people always think the grass is greener. If I leave here and go over here, things are going to be so much better. It's not. This just period. It's not. That's just not the way that shit goes. You understand? Yeah, the title, the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. There's a marriage here. And there's somebody on the outside. Yeah, there's going to be a shift in your marriage. There's somebody on the outside trying to cause endings and do spell work because they want you for themselves. That's going to end as well. Something is not going to move forward or this is you doing this. This is going to backfire on you. This is not going to work out in the way that you were hoping that it would work out. Okay? Something's going to end drastically here. Now we have the Two of Cups flipping out of the upright. What's the Two of Cups flipping out in the upright? Okay, yeah, the Six of Swords. All right. Two of Cups and the Six of Swords. The Strength card. So holding, there's the Strength card again. A lot of holding back. Yeah, the Empress. Okay. The Judgment and the King of Swords. All right, so... Yeah, somebody could be pregnant here too, but there's a sense of holding back. It's like, it's like you, it's like you want to, um, yeah, you you want to work on the connection that you're in, okay? Or you want to reconcile with this air sign, King of Pentacles. This could be the same person you're married, you're married to. I feel like yeah, the higher font, you're married, yeah, the Two of Wands. You're making a choice to choose your marriage, to work on your marriage and stay in a commitment, and that is going to piss somebody else the fuck off. Because somebody else thought that they were going to be chosen or I don't know, but I'm, I'm getting no. Yeah, I'm getting that's not what's going to happen at all. Uh, um, This is where you're deciding to stay at. OK, I do feel like um there's going to be some kind of reconciliation here with somebody you feel emotional fulfillment with. But I do feel like that's going to end here. Abruptly. All right. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share and follow.